Welcome back to SLN Academy. Today's topic is Patterns in Logical Reasoning for Competitive Exams. Analytical Reasoning Tips and Tricks are explained in this video. Friends, please click on subscribe button and click on the bell icon to get new video updates on this channel. And don't forget to like, comment or share. Number 1 Find number of balls in empty box. You can pause the video here to find the answer or you can continue for the explanation. Let us first see how many balls are present in each box. Step 1 Check if the number of balls are in ascending or in descending order. Numbers are not increasing continuously and numbers are not decreasing continuously. So, there is no continuous positive or negative pattern here. Step 2 Check if the balls in alternative boxes are in continuous ascending or in descending order. First, let us observe the pattern in even boxes because there is no missing number here. It seems that there is no continuous positive or negative pattern here as well. Now, let us proceed with step 3. Check if balls in alternative boxes are with alternative pattern. It seems that there is an alternative pattern. Minus 1, plus 2, minus 1. Let us check if the same pattern applies to odd boxes as well. Plus 2, minus 1, plus 2, minus 1. And we get 8. Number of balls in 7th box are 8. And the answer is 8. Number 2. Complete the pattern. Check the options given below. You can pause the video here to solve this problem or you can continue for the explanation. To solve this, let us first observe how many lines are present in each square. In each square, a new line is added. Newly added lines are continuing in the rest of the squares as well. And the answer is option C. Number 3. How many shaded balls will be there in box 81? You can pause the video here and solve the problem or you can continue for the explanation. that we need to observe in this question are they are asking for shaded balls not for all the balls and they are asking for box number 81 some random number not for immediate boxes such as box 4 or 5 number of shaded balls in box 1 are 3 
नंबर ऑफ शेडेड बॉल्स इन बॉक्स टू और फाइव नंबर ऑफ शेडेड बॉल्स इन बॉक्स थ्री और सेवन फर्स्ट लेटर से हाउ टू सॉल्व दिस इफ इट इज आस्क फॉर इमीडिएट बॉक्स सच एज बॉक्स फोर it seems there is a pattern of plus 2 so for box number 4 it will be 9 now if you follow the same approach to get the number of shaded balls in box 81 it requires huge amount of manual work so this approach is wrong to get the number of shaded balls in box 81 we need to first understand relation between the number of the box and number of shaded balls approach 2 in box number 1 there are three shaded balls that means we can represent it with 1 plus 2 and in box number 2 there are five shaded balls we can represent this with 2 plus 3 and in box number 3 there are seven shaded balls we can represent this with 3 plus 4 in the same way if you want number of shaded balls for box number 81 it can be written as 81 plus 82 which is 163 So the pattern here is n plus n plus one. So the number of shaded balls in box number eighty one are one sixty three. We can write the same thing in this way as well. Box number one has three shaded balls. That means one into two plus one. And in box number two there are five shaded balls. We can represent it. With two into two plus one, and in box number three there are seven shaded balls. We can represent it by three into two plus one. So, for box number eighty-one, we can represent this with eighty-one into two plus one. So here also we get the same number one sixty-three. The pattern is two n plus one. Number four. Find the missing figure. Observe the answers given here. You can pause the video here and solve the problem, or you can continue for explanation. Step one. Observe similarities between the images present in each row. First row have shapes with four sides or four petals. Third row have shapes with six sides or six petals. And the answer is C. Number five. Identify the missing figure. You can pause the video here and solve the problem, or you can continue for explanation. Let us first observe how shapes are changed here. Here. the picture is turning in clockwise direction so the answer is option b number 6 find the missing number
you can pause the video here and solve the problem or you can continue for explanation. First, let us understand the relation between two numbers present in each block. In first block, we have 2 and 5. I assume them as numerator and denominator here. We got the denominator 5 by multiplying numerator with 2 and adding 1 to it. That means t equal to n into 2 plus 1. This is the pattern here. Let us check if the pattern applies to numbers in other blocks as well. For the second block, denominator 13 equals to 6 into 2 plus 1, which is correct here. And for fourth block, denominator 25 equals to numerator 12 into 2 plus 1. For fifth block, denominator 35 equals to numerator 17 into 2 plus 1. Pattern applies to all the blocks, so let us apply the same thing here as well. So, the answer should be 8 into 2 plus 1, which is equal to 17. So, the answer is 17. Number 7. Find the missing number. Here, few books are given with numbers and one book is with missing number. You can pause the video here to find the answer or you can continue for the explanation. Now, let us check the missing number here. Here, 49 equals to 7 into 7, 36, which is 6 into 6, 25, which is 5 into 5, 16, which is 4 into 4, and 9, which is 3 into 3. We can represent them in other way as well, like 7 square, 6 square, 5 square, 4 square, 3 square, etc. So for book number 2, it should be 2 into 2 which is equal to 4 or 2 square which is equal to 4. So the answer is 4, pattern and square. Number 8. Find the letter in 99th position. Few letters are given here. You have to find the pattern and find the letter in 99th position. Find the options given below. You can pause the video here and find the answer. Or you can continue for the explanation. Observe the pattern here. A set of six alphabets ABC, CBA, are repeating without any change. So we can divide them into group of six alphabets. We can assign numbers to alphabets in each group. First occurrence of the pattern and set sixth position. Second occurrence of the pattern and set twelfth position. As we need 99th alphabet and the pattern is with group of 6 alphabets, let us first check the quotient of 99 by 6, which is 16. 6 16s are 96, that means 16th occurrence of this pattern and set 96th position. So, 17th occurrence of the same pattern starts at 97th position like this. We got the letter in 99th position, which is C. So, the answer is 
ऑप्शन सी वी कैन ऑल्सो फाइंड द सेम आंसर बाय फाइंडिंग द रिमाइंडर ऑफ नाइंटी नाइन बाय सिक्स विच इज इक्वल टू थ्री सो द लेटर प्रेजेंट इन थर्ड पोजिशन इज सी सो द आंसर इज ऑप्शन सी नंबर नाइन फाइंड द शेप इन ब्लैंक स्पेस ऑब्जर्व द ऑप्शन प्रेजेंट हियर यू कैन पॉज द वीडियो हियर टू सॉल्व द प्रॉब्लम फर्स्ट लेट अस रिमूव अननेसेसरी ऑप्शन बाय फाइंडिंग द ऑड वन आउट सो we can remove option b and c because they don't seem relevant to this now we are left with two options a and d first let us observe shapes of first row it turned in anti clockwise direction let us observe if it applies to third row as well this one also turned in anti clockwise direction so the shape in second row also need to be turned in anti clockwise direction and we got the answer as option d Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please click on subscribe button and click on the bell icon to get new video updates on this channel. And don't forget to like, comment or share.